Welcome back West Michigan. You are watching Alive and Well and we are here at the Muskegon High School Teen Health Center and with me is physician assistant Carol Schramm. Welcome Carol. Thank you. And let's talk a little bit about what you do here all day. Okay. I am the physician assistant that staffs the medical needs for the Teen Health Center here mm -hmm. and we're here from 8 o'clock in the morning until 4.30 in the afternoon almost every day and Wednesdays from 12 to 6 and basically I'm here waiting for patients to come in. Most of our patients walk in, but we do have a lot of schedule appointments too. So um, I'm seeing Muskegon High School students during the day until 3 o'clock, and after that it's open to students between the ages of 10 and 21 from any school district. Okay, ages 10 to 21. That's important to know because we were thinking teens, and that's kind of pre-teen, 10-year-olds, important that they're seeing. Right. So that's the youngest you take is 10-year-olds, yes. correct? Okay, and other school districts now, do you get very many patients from other school districts? We do, especially right now because we're doing sports physicals. Okay, yeah, yeah, and that's that's great. They probably better for them to come over here cheaper. They can all come it over is. here and get their sports physicals. I think it's the cheapest place in town right now for sports physicals. Can you tell me what, what the price $15. is? $15. $15, that's a great deal, yep. I know that when my son was in sports over in North Muskegon High School, yeah, $20 was if he went up to the clinic or the right. one of the... Medi Center, so fifteen dollars worth the drive over here and get the sports physical. That's great, and then they leave with the paper so they can take it right to their coach, right? Correct. Turn it in. Good to know. So come here for your sports physicals. Mm -hmm. And what I know that you know with HIPAA compliance, we have to be concerned about you know the personal issues of people. But what do you see? Is there any particular thing that you see? regularly here or you see a lot of? We see uh, all sorts of things actually. We see uh, urgent uh, care visits which are injuries. Okay. Uh, people come in with headaches, toothaches, um, and then uh, we see some chronic disease management like okay. asthma. Uh, diabetes? Do you uh, deal with diabetes? Some diabetes. Okay. Um, we have some uh, diet counseling for overweight kids. Okay. We have a actual program set up, a seven week program that's weekly classes. Uh, to help with health um, concerns for overweight kids. And, okay, uh, diet that's called, management. Right, mm -hmm. STEAM program, and that's been very um, popular and successful. So uh, we do, um, also we do pregnancy testing and mm -hmm. testing for sexually transmitted diseases, and we can do that confidentially. Um, if they're ages 14 and over, the state law says that we can see them uh, confidentially. So we have uh, quite a few students that want to, you know, be safe, better safe than sorry, come is, in and be tested. Is the teen clinic allowed to provide birth control counseling or birth control? We can do counseling. We do not provide birth control here, okay. but we can okay. give them direction on where they can go to obtain that if they're interested. Okay, that's good to know, and that's an important question for teens. I know a lot of teens want to know those things and right. aren't really sure where to ask. Right. So. But we're pretty much set up like any clinic. We can do hearing and vision testing. We can do some um, labs like testing for uh, uh, urinary tract infection, okay. strep throat screens, uh, hemoglobin for anemia. So, so you are really a full service clinic. You're set up for all of that here. Right. We've got the labs right here in, in the clinic. And do you do blood lab work here also? We do. Okay. Uh, we can do full panel blood work and send that out to the hospital lab. Okay, so you really are a full service facility clinic here for the Teen Health Center. That's great. Right. And you've got it all. You've got it all. So are you, are you the lead physician assistant? Do you um, see most I of actually patients? job share with another uh, PA, okay. Kathy Beck, and we share the job. So we're, um, you know, here at halftime. Okay, now is there an in-house doctor here also? No, we're affiliated with Hackley Community Care, so our supervising pediatrician is over there, and she's available anytime by phone. Okay, and and lest you think that a physician assistant is not the same as a doctor, well, technically they're not the same as a doctor, but they are very qualified, and you go to a lot of school to become a physician assistant. And That's I know true. in our office where I go, we have uh, a couple physician assistants, and like to see some of them better sometimes <laughs> than the doctor. They're very good and so I know that you're very qualified and you probably see more of this than some of the doctors do so very good at what you do I'm sure. Thank you. Yeah. So anything else you'd like to share with me about the clinic? Uh, well we have uh, dental services and we have counseling services so I think that you're scheduled to maybe talk to some of our yes. employees in the office that can tell you more about that. Right we are going to talk to the behavior counselor here good. and um, we talked a little bit with Kelly about the dental services, which I'm just thrilled that they have some dental services here because it's a huge, huge need. And they do take care of people up to 21 years old, so it isn't just 
people in school, in high school. You can come after high school. Right. So that's great to know. Well, thank you for being on the show. Thank you. It's been a pleasure meeting you, and I'm so glad you're doing this. Thank Good you. work. Thank you.